Hi everyone, this weekend we're in West Virginia so Michael can run the Greenbrier River Trail Marathon. We're in Cass, West Virginia right now. This is going to be the race start. We're actually staying in Snowshoe Mountain, the ski resort, and it's a really different place in the summer. It's kind of fun. There's lots of stuff going on, people mountain biking, ATVs, lots of trails to hike on. It's, it's interesting. Other than that, um, there isn't too much around here. It's, it's very, uh, it's beautiful, it's mountainous. It's an interesting drive to get here, not urbanized at all. So we're gonna enjoy the beauty of West Virginia. Join us as we race the nation. is they have an old steam locomotive trip you can go on. It takes you about a two hour round trip. It takes you up to all mob from the town of Cass. So, however, you better book early because they've already sold out for the year and they sell out quickly. But it looks like a lot of fun. Shay's Revenge and then they take their bikes down. So due to COVID, they're doing the outside packet pickup instead of inside. But it's a beautiful night. Everybody's just lining up. They're doing it from uh, from 5 to 8 30 the night before. So we're here, really nice long line, uh, but it's going quick. Here we go.
through the town and now running on the Green Briar River Trail. Alright, here's one of our one of the folks from our running club, father son duo, who uh up here doing the Green Briar River. So and uh for the dad, Tom, how many is this have you run? This is my 19th. 19th marathon. Yes. And Aaron? This will be my 18th and my first in 10 years. He, he no kidding. Yeah. All right, so, so how, much, how much training have you done? Have you run together a lot for the training? No, we pretty much travel right on our own. Because he's working and I'm retired, so. So you sleep in Tom and run when you want and Aaron you gotta get up and do it before Super work. Early, up in yep. the dark. <laughs> Many miles on the river walk in the dark. <laughs> well very good. Well listen, we will see you boys right. at the finish. Alright. All right. All right, we're a little over three miles in. We're already, people are really spread out along the trail already. But I found one gentleman willing to talk to me. <laughs> and we, we were just talking about how the, nice and peaceful it is out on this course. Have you, are you from this area? Uh, like, uh, I mean, this, from, this, uh, from West Virginia. We got three hours away. Okay. So how do you decide to do this race? Uh, I pretty much tried every race in West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> because it's my home state. So have you done this one before then? Yeah, this is my second time. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, very good. Uh -huh. So how many races have you done then? In my lifetime? Yeah. Probably this is my 22nd. <laughs> Excellent. What's been your favorite West Virginia race so far then? I think it's uh, Freedom to Run. Uh, yes, up in um, yeah, over to the uh, Valley Forge uh, area. Ferry. Yes. Yeah. Oh, your Harpers Ferry. That's right. Yeah, because uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome down in the in, you know, when you pass through, when you run through the Antietam Battlefield. Yeah. Yeah, the view is awesome. Very historic. Yeah. All right. Well, listen. Thanks. We'll see you at the end. Yeah, see you. <laughs> Let's get some nice colors already down here. Early October, West Virginia is beautiful. Rocks on one side, river on the other. And lots of leaf color in between. All right, found somebody else willing to chat for just a couple minutes. <laughs> Maybe not that long. <laughs> so, um, had you done this race before? No, I have not. Where are you from? I live in State College, Pennsylvania. Okay. And, uh, how many marathons have you run? This is my second. I did my first one when I was 25. I'm 43. So it's been a long time. A little break? Yeah. I bet them I bet you won't have the longer break for the next one. No, but I tell you having the pandemic, working from home, gave me a lot more freedom to to train and get in shape. So it was really that was the silver lining for me. Yeah. Yeah. And so what do you think of this race so far? Yes, I know. I'm with you. It checks all the boxes for me as well. Yeah. So, what do you like best about running, then? What got you back into running? Well, I've been a runner the whole time. I just never did, you know, more than six miles a day. So, that was my daily, my daily run is six miles a day. Um, I started running when I was 19 in college. And I was a smoker when I was in college. <laughs> and I decided one day, hey, I'm going to quit smoking and get healthy. 
Yeah. Well, excellent. So, yeah. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Well, listen, thanks so much for giving us a few minutes. Yeah. Enjoy the race. You too. We'll see you at the end. Thank you. They've got these little railroad markers. I'm sure they're every mile that are still along the way. Fortunately, it's not 71 miles to the end. All right, wrangled in a couple runners here. Did you get a two for one interview? And somebody just told me they're doing their first ever marathon. I am. Well, what What got into you to do this? Well, I told you I'm back. I started running when they were covered yet, and I kind of got addicted to it. And I'm from Toronto, West Virginia, so this is pretty close to home. But yeah. The weather's great. This yeah. trail is pretty flat. So. Yeah, if you want to. A flat trail, in West, a flat race in West Virginia. Yeah. You've got it. So, well, you're moving along at a good clip. Thanks. Do you have, are you trying to make a certain time? I'm not. Right, you just... I just want to do my best. Very good. And what's your story? I'm Nate. I'm from Buffalo, New York. Uh, born there, moved to Miami when I was in high school. I'm a senior now at the University of Richmond, and it's my second marathon. All right. Running with my uh, with my dad and three of my closest friends from high school, excuse me, from college. Um, and now I'm I'm just trying to lock in and uh, you know prove to myself I can do this again. Well, excellent, man. Well, I appreciate you all giving me a few minutes. Thank you for running with us. And we'll see you at the end. All right, thank you. Thank you. And that was it, the halfway point, 13.1. It's been going, it's been going really kind of quick this race actually. Or, you know, I don't know time-wise, but it feels it's going by quick. This first half, so fingers crossed the second half goes as well. One of the exciting features on this race at mile 15 is a, a tunnel. And well, here we are. We're with the uh, superintendent of the state park. Yeah, Castaic Oregon State Park. Castaic, and uh, who gave us permission to do the drone footage today. And thank you. And so, are you officially working today or are you just having fun? Well, I'll work this morning and I'll go back and work this afternoon. So, having fun right now. <laughs> just the 26.2 miles in between, huh? Yeah, absolutely. So, you get to be on this trail every day. I do. Uh, Part of patrolling the park is also patrolling the trail. So, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm out job on this trail every morning. Well, it is a beautiful trail. Uh, this is really one of my top favorite races. I kind of knew it would be, but it even exceeded expectations. So, now what's it like Do you trying to organize it with the, you know, with the race and, and all? Well, uh, Callan, the race director, really does most of the footwork. But, um, you know, we work with uh, Urban Green Bar, Valley Railroad, making sure they uh, have the trains ready to go and uh, have casts ready for the takeoff in the morning. Well, it's definitely a beautiful spot to start and run it. So, you guys got a gem here, man. So, well, thanks for giving me a few minutes. Well, and, thank you for covering. Yeah, man, we'll see you at the end. Yeah, we'll see you. about mile 21 here which I think matches the number of pebbles in my shoes well it took about 24 miles but the sun has burned through the mist two miles left uh, I just started getting messages on my watch from my phone, so we're back here in the town of Marlington where I get cell service, and we just switched on to um, Dave. join pretty soon right around in here so might have some com might have some company for the end. We finished Stillwell Park, just off the side of the trail, and we're finally getting to that point now. All right. Good job, good job. No. Congratulations. Hey, you as well. Thanks. We are, the end is near, right? The end is near. We can see it. We're gonna make it. What did you run today? Uh, I'm gonna finish under 850 pace. So you did the, the full? Yes, the yes, full I marriage. did the full. Think of the trace. This was the best course ever. Best day, best, best community. This was wonderful. You guys put on a great race. Good job. All right, well, thanks so much. Thanks Thank for coming you. up and thanks for chatting with us. Yeah.
Sunday in October. All right, and next year is the second. So, people, you got to mark it on your calendar. The West Virginia race, this is the one you need to come to. Look no further than the Greenbrier River Trail Marathon and half. 